Hi guys! So in today's video, I'm going to show you how to turn this normal plain cardboard box because we are probably all getting lots of extra deliveries these days and I'm basically turning them into this. It's like a hat box. All right, stay tuned. <laughs> So basically, everybody has a box just lying around and you don't know what to do with it. It doesn't even have to be this big. It could be like a small box or something that you can do similar methods with. But I just wanted to show you guys how to make a hat box like this. This is going to be a very quick intro. I'm going to show you basically how to do stuff right now. Okay, so this is my lovely well-used cutting board. So I got these cake rounds, a pack of them. I ended up getting two packs. I was trying to get different sizes because you can get all different sizes. This one happens to be 10 inches, which I think is a fairly good size. You can get 12 inch ones. You can get smaller, I think too, or larger. There's a few different sizes. This is only kind of like if you don't feel like cutting out circles, which I know a lot of people don't really love doing, but I do have some other alternatives for people in case they do want to make everything from a box. I just have like a small box here. It looks really rough, but I mean, I'm going to decorate this at some point anyways, so I don't think it's like a huge deal but if it has some sort of texture on it because I'm going to be making boxes that look like cakes. It's not like a huge deal. Basically, you're just using free boxes that you got from a package. A lot of people are buying stuff online these days, so I'm sure people have boxes laying around. Instead of recycling it, why not use it to make something like a cute hat box, right? So I have this. You can use any size box. It doesn't really matter. It depends on what size box you're trying to make. So there's that. If you want to, you can get, this is just to get fancy. These are kind of circle cutters and you can sort of set whatever size you want, make really like large or smaller circles. And they're really, really cool things to have. They have extra blades. I got this from, I think it was Wish a while ago. And it has a little cover for the blade here. So you just take the cover off and you just set it to whatever size you want and you use it so that's really cool in case you have something like that or want something like that i got this from wish quite a while ago i'm sure you can buy something like this online as well on a different store so there's that you can use a regular box cutter as well what i would also recommend for a template in case you don't have a cutter like that you can use bowls or lids for things like canisters or whatever. There's all sorts of different types of templates you can use, but you can basically take this, get a bigger thing of cardboard, I'd say, and then just sort of like draw out your template with like a pencil and cut it out with the box cutter. So I think that this is really good to have something like this that has lines like this through it. It's a little easier to cut something like this out down but if you want to I would say you can use a ruler to make things a lot steadier to cut things out as well yeah I would say maybe try to go through it a few times it's better to get like a thicker corrugated cardboard let me see and you just sort of use this as a guide these folds here and you can just cut off the flaps and you can use this in the future for making smaller boxes so I would just say put something like this aside and then just keep sort of cutting Obviously, there's certain things like this that might happen, so just trim that off. And you might want to even cut this open, because we're probably not going to use this entire thing anyways. Okay, so now we've got whole big thing that we can use here. So what I also recommend doing, if there's rips and stuff, maybe cut that off because you don't need that. So basically try to do almost like gentle cuts now. Don't go all the way through so that you're able to bend this with ease. So this is going to take probably quite a long time. I'll speed things up to show you. Then I'll be up 
absolutely perfect. You don't have to do this super accurately. Just try not to go all the way through, that's all. Just make it so that it can easily bend. So these are the sides of the box. So you can even make heart-shaped designs and use this kind of technique to go around like a heart shape. Like if you wanted to cut something like this down into a heart shape or something and make like a heart box, that would be really cute too. I'm sure there's all sorts of different shapes you can make and then just sort of like put this around. It's just a little more delicate, I guess, if you're doing different shapes. But yeah, it's pretty fun to make the round hat box. Honestly, I was looking on Amazon at cute hat boxes and I was like, oh man, they're so pricey. But to make them is probably so much cheaper, you know, because you just basically take some cardboard that you got from like a package or something. And I get lots of packages all the time because I'm always ordering craft stuff, right? <laughs> just to do something fun like this. Okay. So I basically just trimmed up the edges on this, but you can sort of see that it curves really nice and easily. So you can easily make something round with that. I'm gonna use this for the lid and I'm going to make it about two inches or so. And these, this is about four inches. So I'm going to basically cut it in half so I can use the other one for another lid at some point in time if I wanted to. So I'm just gonna sort of mark it up. I'm gonna show you guys with kind of like a brush pen. I don't normally use brush pens for stuff like this, like marking words up, but hopefully you guys can see this a little bit better. Line things up as soon as put the two inch mark there. So it's kind of gonna be even all the way along. But oh, see, it's a little bit bigger than four inches according to this. Watch, I can trim that down a little bit later. So I'm just gonna try to cut it so at least this side is fairly even. super perfectionist about stuff like this, but I'm normally pretty easy going about this sort of thing. And it's good to like have a lot so you can cut off a little bit if you need to. And you can always use the rest for another lid or something like that in the future, for a smaller box if you want to, or you can throw it out, whatever. It depends on how much le is left over really. So now, I'm just gonna line up those marks that I just made. So now I have two strips and it'd be perfect for, I can make two lids in one go if I wanted to and then I can put them aside and make it the bottom part of the box another time. So now I'm going to show you the next part. Okay, so if you've been kind of following my channel for some time now, you know that I have a very well used glue gun. Anyways, I like to set this out while it's heating up on like a little lid for margarine or something or yogurt. I think this is a yogurt container lid. And then I like to have at least a couple, two or three glue sticks handy because it melts really quickly. So basically what I'm going to do is take the ugly side. It might be a good idea to actually like take some sort of either fabric or wrapping paper or some sort of cardstock or something. I'm assuming wrapping paper might be nicer. You could potentially mod podge the ugly inside of this. I'm going to keep this textured stuff on the outside for what I'm doing. You can always, if you want to, reverse it completely and have this on the inside and then put some sort of paper down. I want to use this to make like some sort of textured cake, right? So I think it's going to grip the gesso or the paint or whatever. I'm using to create like a textured effect on the outside so I think it's gonna be a little easier to adhere I'm hoping this is my first time doing this so <laughs> so what you do with the lid is I'm gonna actually do the shiny side on the inside because I think that the more matte side there's a shiny side and a matte side I think the more matte side is going to be a little easier to adhere to this is already heated so you sort of just take your time with this so for the lid you're gonna want this on the outside And for the actual base, I'm going to be gluing it a little bit differently, just so that the lid will fit on top. Okay, so we're getting very close to the end here. So as you can see, it kind of overlaps a bit. So what I'm gonna do, I'm going to try to cut this part right here, just so that you can glue it where it meets. Okay, let's glue the rest of this down. Just a few more dabs, and it could be on the inside or outside, depending. And there you have it! There's a lid so far. Not too bad. And that should slide, hopefully, over top of the base. 
As you can see, I got a Michael's box. It was a rather large box. It had some organization products in it. So it was quite big. It's very long. I took the flaps off, obviously, already. Cut it down to about eight inches wide. I already cut all the little things here so it can turn easily as well. I mean, I could make this about six inches or so, but I kind of wanted it to be kind of like a larger box, just so you can put lots of stuff in there. Basically, this is going to be a little bit different than doing the lid, so you have to add beads of glue around the edge. Instead of on the outside, like right here, like we did with the lid, we're gonna just do it on the inside here. So I'm gonna do the shiny side in. I mean, I could do it like this. Either way, that doesn't really matter. Honestly. Actually, it might grip a little bit better with this, so maybe I will do this this side and then have the shiny side on the bottom. But in case I do want to paint, it might actually be better to do this. Yeah, I'm gonna do the shiny side on the inside and glue it that way. So I'm going to basically roll things up like this and just sort of glue around the edge like this. So I'm getting to the end here. I should take some scissors here. Might be better actually to cut it with an X-Acto knife. And that should fit together okay. Oh, it's a little tight up there. That's okay, we can fill that in. Now this might look sloppy to some people, but honestly, it's not that big of a deal just because I'm gonna end up making like a cake thing out of this. Basically just let that dry and this should be able to fit all right on top. So there's little bits and pieces that might be hanging off. You can just trim that, it's not a big deal if you want. You might want to smooth out the bottom part a little bit, but yeah, basically you have a hat box here, which is really cool. All just made out of boxes that you got in the mail. And you can just stick stuff, whatever you want inside. Okay, yeah, so that's basically how you make a little hat box. And I, I made a couple here. So they didn't look amazing like in the end, but this is okay because I'm gonna end up covering this up. You can do lots of different methods of covering stuff like this up. This is just the basics of the box that I wanted to show you guys. If you wanted to, this is like contact paper. This is like almost like a marbly contact paper that I purchased. In case you guys wanted to cover the inside, I do recommend it. You can do it afterwards if you want to, like I'm going to, but if you want to, you can actually, before you make everything, I would say cover at least one side of like the rounds, like the cake rounds each, and then cover the strips on the other side maybe. Keep the, the rough texture for when you're kind of going around. You can actually put this on the inside too if you wanted to, it's not a big deal, but I just find that this is really good for what I want to do because I want to like add some stuff that's going to grab a hold of this texture. So yeah, in case you guys are interested, I'm going to be doing a series on making box cakes. So I hope you guys really, really enjoyed those videos coming up. I'm going to show you guys a few different things on DIY decorations and stuff and how to make that before you actually make your cake. So yeah, I'm going to do like a whole series on stuff. So I really hope that you guys enjoy that and that's coming up soon enough. Anyways, I really, really hope you guys enjoyed this video and this is going to be a really, really quick one. If you guys really liked it, please like and subscribe and please share the video if you can. I hope you guys all have an amazing day as usual. All right. Take care guys. Bye.